basketball game. Um, Purdue's where they're at for a reason. Um, they're good. And uh, <clears throat> it's um, It's, it's, it's getting guys to understand um, a possession or two, a rebound, a loose ball. Um, that's what sends you home in March. And um, I thought we competed. I thought we did a great job on Zach. He gets his 28 on 23 shots. I, I was really happy with that. Um, you know, I thought we, we first half, I thought we, we, we guarded a way that was, that was really solid. Uh, the second half, you have to make some adjustments for Zach. Um, you know, it was just a, you know, Zach's a one of a kind. And, um, you know, he's, he's, he's um, got the ability to dominate. He started the second half in that, in that mode. Uh, you have to go to a little different coverage. And then they make threes. And, um, you know, we don't make a three the second half. Um, and, uh, again, we had 1.1 OER, uh, which is really low for us, but to give their defense some credit. And, again, Zach's back there protecting the rim. Uh, but um, um, had it right there, and you, you get a stop, and you can't get a rebound uh, twice. Um, and, uh, you know, we've got to have – Better rebounding from our perimeter players. Plain and simple. Better rebounding. I mean, Terrence Shannon has no defensive rebounds tonight. Zero. Best athlete on the court. Um, we've got to get better rebounding from our guards. And we can't have Coleman fight 7'5 and 300 pounds. And, and ultimately, it's the difference in the ballgame is those couple of plays. Uh, and, uh, you know, Lawyer goes on a 7 0 run. Um, and,. Uh, you know, and then you uh, go home with a loss. But high-level game, I love our team. I love what we, we're doing. If that's the best in the country, which I think it is, we're right there. And uh, you have to make a couple plays when the game's on the line to, uh, uh, to win. Otherwise, uh, uh, you know, we had plenty of opportunities. But uh, great, great basketball game. Congratulations to Purdue, and they were spectacular. Brad, you played some of the best teams in the country, Tennessee, Marquette, and Purdue twice. What do you hope your guys take away from it? What do you hope you learn from it? Yeah, just what I said, little plays. It's a little plays. I mean, when, you, when, you, when you get a stop and you got three guys around the ball and nobody even makes an attempt to get on the floor for it, those, go, those send you home. You know, life's, and I told them, it's winning and losing. And, and, and there's winners and losers in life. And, and you, you can't not go make those plays. And, uh, you know, we've got to get them to understand the, the urgency of the end, the abruptness of the end. If you do it, you know, uh, you don't do it, you go home. And, you know, we have a loose ball, just an unfortunate bounce. You know, they make a, I thought they made a, not a very smart play. And the Jones kid shot it really quick. And we make a great defensive play and the ball bats up in the air and they come up with it and it leads to a three. Uh, but uh, again, you just we just we just have to rebound the basketball better and, and come up with those loose balls and um, those were those were defining moments in the game that they made. They made us pay for every one of them. Brad, you mentioned you had to go to a different coverage in the second half. It, what were you guys talking about at halftime though? Because I know Edie's nine of thirteen, but you're up six. I mean, you had to have felt good about how you were going about things. Yeah, but it's and it's it's eventually going to. Wear, wear yourself out and it's going to wear itself out. I mean, he's nine to 13, um, you know, and, and, and you're going to, you're going to have to pick your poison. He's going to put fouls on guys and, and, um, you know, it's, we've, we've seen, we've seen that song and dance many, many times in, in game film and, uh, you know, and, and Matt's a really good coach. I mean, he didn't run anything except throw the ball to him and, and all of a sudden it wipes out your lead and, and now you've got to, you've got to counter that. So, uh, he's got that luxury, um, and uh, you know t tonight their guys stepped up and made made some shots. I thought they were kind of broken play threes that that hurt us, but 
uh, you know, again, that's uh, to their credit. Coach, how, how do you think the transition defense impacted the game? Just 63 possession game and two fast break points. Well, we turned it over every time we had it in transition. It killed us. And uh, But, again, part of that is trying to stop Zach, and it was a slower tempo game uh, from that side of things. And, and, and and we almost expected that, but uh, we had we had three or four really bad plays in transition. And uh, you know when you when you when you get in a possession game, you can't turn that thing over, uh, especially in transition. Uh, Coach uh, Shannon picks up his second foul with 11:34 remaining in the first half. Was there any sort of thought process of managing it differently than you did, or were you kind of playing on, hey, maybe if we have an offensive position at the end, we're going to use him? Or if it gets out of hand. We did. When we put him back in, we, we bought three minutes with him. We put him back in for our you know, out-of-bounds play late. Uh, we bought as, as much time as we could with him. And, and uh, you know, it's still a, a, a risk there. Uh, but, um, you know, he played out of rhythm tonight. And, um, you know, partly because of that. But, um, uh, again, that's, uh, uh, I, thought we, I thought we handled this situation pretty well in that first half. Brad, was there something they did differently in the second half defensively to kind of bog you guys down in the half court or what did you see there? Guard us. I mean, it, it's when you, it's different when you got Zach back there. You know, I mean, Zach protects the rim pretty well and, and you know, I thought we got, I got, we got good opportunities, to, you know, at the rim. Uh, Mark missed a couple, um, you know, layups. He, you know, they blocked a couple of, of shots. Um, you know, and that's that's fine. But um, I, I, you know, I, you know, they took the three point line away, and I thought we got some looks that we didn't take. But I thought we also missed a, missed a few. But um, yeah, they're uh, they're obviously very good defensively as well. And, and again, Zach provides that 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 security blanket back there. Brad, you mentioned Terrence not having any defensive rebounds. Matt talked a lot in here about if they we don't turn it over, Terrence can't get out on the break. But if he can get on the glass, can he just manufacture his own? He can just yes. grab it and go? Yes. Look at his 35-point game. He had 11 rebounds. And, um, you know, there's a play late in the game. He's at half court. He's trying to get a run out at half court. And, and um, you know, he and I are going to have a hard talk about that as we go into postseason play. And, um, you know, that's where Io blossomed. Io figured out, you know, triple doubles and let me defensive rebound so I can get out and run. And, and um, um, you know, off night for Terrence, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get that. He's a very conscientious young man and wants to win more than anybody. Coach in the back, um, obviously it was senior night. You have seven seniors. What have they meant to you guys this year and just the four years that they've been here? Well, seniors, senior night is, is, is a, about accomplishing a lot. It's, it's about accomplishment, and it's not about a win-loss in this game. It's, it's, it's about the, the, the relationship, relationships that you develop. It's about the uh, lifetime friends. It's about the uh, successes in the academic classroom. It's about um, you know, the, the, the accountability and responsibility you develop. And, and uh, you know, they, they all come here as young boys, and they, they leave as men. And whether it's one year, uh, you know, I, I hope that everybody's learned a lot from here. Uh, you know, we talk about a lot about winning and losing, uh, but I think that's life. And I think that the accountability piece is, is, is about life. And um, so, I, you know, we got a great group of managers. We had a, this is an incredible group of guys. This is much fun coaching a basketball team as I've had uh, in my time here. Uh, because of who they are as people and uh, I'll always remember whatever this journey ends up here in a few weeks and or a month whatever it is and and I, and I hope we've got a lot more but uh, uh, this will this will be this will be a uh, right at the top of the list in terms of great groups but how do you balance I mean you've been right there right with with all these teams and you talked about the loose balls and the rebound like how do you balance the reality that you're a good team, but as Coleman mentioned, maybe like two minutes stretches of just kind of letting some of the big wins slip away. It's not two minutes. It's two. It's two or three possessions, and and that's the discipline that comes from from doing your job every single time, doing your job, and not not taking a possession off. Going home is 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 about a possession or two, and and in, in this and 
I mean, yeah, I mean, we're up eight at Tennessee. Where I mean, I think we've been down triple or double digits against three teams, and one of them's Valpo. Um, and and we're right there. And um, you know, but uh, again, you got to make Purdue credit. I mean, you can't guard it any better than we did. And yet you have to you have to have a be tough enough and gritty enough and nasty enough and and, and mean mean enough to come up with that rebound. It has to be yours. Can't beat Mason Gillis. You know you can't make a play with seven seconds on the shot clock and foul off the ball when they're at half court. You know those are those are plays that you just can't make in a game like this. And and again we're we're right there and that's why I'm. I beat it up in the locker room, to be very honest. I beat those points up because if we don't understand that we're really, really good and we can be a Final Four team, I believe that. I've said, I'm, I'm just telling you now, I believe that. And, but you got to make those plays. You have to make those plays. And you can put that in bold italics on every newspaper, on every damn chat line that I never read, and I don't care. <laughs> make big plays to stay alive. Coach, I know, I know you, you don't like fouling. You call it a defensive mistake. Generally, it, did, did you get what you're looking for out of Amani Hansberry in, in his short stint there? Yeah. One, you you want to make him work. Amani's really, really strong. And then you've got to get to a point where, realistically, he's not a great free throw shooter. So if you get one point out of the possession, so we had to get them into the bonus a little bit. You know, we had to we had to work to try to get them closer to shooting free throws. So if we needed it, we didn't have to burn time late. Um, and and again, if he caught it at the rim, Coleman was in a good position that we could we could we could try to foul him if we if we needed that. Uh, you know, if we needed that late. So that was just kind of in the back of the repertoire of another way to try to guard him. You said you kind of you know, hammered home maybe the, the point about the big plays in the locker room. Do you keep that up? I mean, I think Columbus City have a day off, but when you get back together, or do you treat it like Penn State? No, I'm going to forget about it. Of course I am. Hell, I mean, that's, what do you think I'm, I get paid? Josh pays me a lot of money to keep hammering that shit home. I mean, you guys come up with a bad question like that, you're going to crap the answer. Of course I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to blow that off, and we're going to sail off into the sunset and go home here and and, you know, yeah, it's what we do. We talk about it after Penn State, and I don't mean to be a jerk, but uh, that's what we do. That's what we do. We talk about them so they learn and develop and grow and, and, and make a point about it right now so that we can learn from that and we don't do that again. And um, next time it has a lot more consequences. With Coleman taking 139, did you feel like they took that away or was he maybe a little too hesitant? No, they did a great job. They made us. They made us deck it. They made us deck it. They did a terrific job of, of guarding him. And again, Zach gives you that 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 presence back there. Um, you know, he's, especially when he's on Ty. Um, I thought Ty was terrific in in terms of attacking him and and so on and so forth. But they did a nice job tonight. Thank you. Thanks,